Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. And if you enjoy the stories about America's favorite big red dog, then check back in The Reading Corner for some of those stories. Today we're going to do Clifford's Good Deeds. We also have Clifford at the Firehouse, Clifford's Pals, Clifford Goes to Hollywood, and Clifford at the Circus. So check back in the reading corner for those stories. It only takes a little to be big. This is a be big, be responsible book. And in this story, Clifford tries really hard to do some good deeds. Now, what is a deed? A deed is an action. So a good deed is an action that you do that is good for somebody else. And Clifford tries really hard to be helpful and do some helpful things, but it doesn't always turn out so well. Let's see what happens. Clifford's good deeds. Hello, my name is Emily Elizabeth. And this is my dog, Clifford. A boy named Tim lives across the street. One day, Tim said, I try to do a good deed every day. If I had Clifford, I could help a lot of people. I said, let's do some good deeds together. A man was raking leaves. Tim gave him a hand. Then we helped him put the leaves in his truck. I didn't know that dry leaves make Clifford sneeze. Achoo! The man said he didn't need any more help. We went down the street. We saw a lady painting her fence. We helped her paint. When we finished, she thanked us. Clifford felt so happy that he wagged his tail. That was a mistake. White paint splattered all over her house. We said we would paint the rest of her house too. The lady said, never mind. Then we saw an old lady trying to get her kitten down from a tree. Tim said, Clifford, get the kitty. Clifford bent the limb down so the lady could reach her kitten. But his paw slipped. Uh-oh. Clifford moves pretty fast for a big dog. He got the kitty. The lady was glad to get her kitten back. It didn't take us long to find our next good deed to do. Somebody had let the air out of the tires of a car. The man asked if we could help him. Tim took a rubber tube out of the car and stuck it on the tire valve. Then he told Clifford to blow air through the tube. Clifford blew, but he blew a little too hard. Uh -oh. The man felt better when he took when we took his car to the garage. We saw a small paper boy. He was so small that he couldn't throw the newspapers to the doorsteps. Clifford gave him a hand, I mean a paw. Clifford was a little too strong. Uh -oh. Nothing seemed to go right for us. All our good deeds were turning out wrong. Then we saw a terrible thing. A man was hurt and lying in the street. Nobody was helping him. Tim said, you should never move an injured person. Clifford didn't hear him. He picked the man up. We started off to find a doctor. Oh dear. We helped the man get the cable back down the manhole. Tim said, Clifford, maybe you shouldn't help me anymore. Clifford felt very sad. 
He had tried so hard to do the right things. We headed for home. Suddenly, we heard somebody shouting, Help! Fire! The house on the corner was on fire. Tim ran to the alarm box to call the fire department. Clifford ran to the burning house. There were two little kids upstairs. With Clifford's help, we got them to safety. Luckily, there was a swimming pool in the yard. Clifford put out the fire just as the firemen were arriving. Look, he slurped up the water and then blew it on the fire. The firemen finished the job and thanked us for our help. That afternoon, the mayor gave us each a medal for our good deeds. Of course, Clifford got the biggest medal of all. all right, they didn't do the good deeds to get anything back in return, but it was kind of nice that they got a medal. So, go do something kind for someone else. And then we'll see you next time in the Reading Corner with Mrs. G.